What's up, crypto family? Man, it's been a rough, rough week, but we are all going to make it through. I'm telling you guys right now. Yes, we may be going down a recession. That's what the government, that's what the world want us to believe. We are going through a recession, but really we are not. Us crypto hodlers know what is going on behind the scenes. They are trying to push the dollar down so they can get cryptos into play. Okay. Now, if you guys seen this uh, article about Dogen Lamar's, how it shifted to 13th place with a market cap of 9.64 billion, but on Elon's market cap on CoinGecko was 36 million. It does not matter because why we hold the greatest digital asset, Dogalon Mars. And for those who are holding Dogalon Mars are going to see financial freedom. Again, just like what I said, don't worry about the whole mega millions, Powerball, the freaking lotto tickets. I don't care about a scratch off. Why even buy into that? All you're telling yourself is, I don't care about this dollar. I don't care about this dollar. I definitely don't care about crypto. That's what you're telling yourself. You're telling your own self that. Don't you see less people are buying into Lotto? That's why they're they're pushing the numbers, the value of the, the mega million so high. And next is going to be the Powerball. They're trying to smoke screen you guys. Don't forget what is going on. They're trying to show you guys that, oh, don't invest in cryptocurrency. Invest into stocks. Invest into stocks. No. No, don't do that. So while the whole world was focusing on the mega millions and what was going on, this was what really was going on. So, as you guys know, Reno and investor Jim Rogers, he said he warned the worst bear market in his lifetime is incoming. And maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. But at the end of the day, I already prepared you guys. I prepared my own self at the end of the day to, if I'm even buying into these prices where it's at now, it's not going to hurt me. Even if Dogalon gained another two more zeros. It's not going to scare me out my boots because why they want you to be scared. They want you to panic. There's no panicking over here. We don't believe in fear. We buy fear. We buy fear. So this is what he's saying. More bear markets are coming. The next one is going to be the worst in my lifetime. Well, oh, well, I guess so. If it's going to be like that, then it's going to be like that because I'm steady hodling. I'm steady accumulating these digital assets. So he was saying, while explaining that in 2008, we had a problem with too much debt. He stressed that the debt has skyrocketed since then. He said, the debt, oh my God, look out the window. The debt has skyrocketed everywhere. So the next bear market has to be horrible. How can it not be a horrible bear market? I mean, the U.S. has increased its debt by several times since 2009, which is true. The stimulus checks, all this other funding, that's what they're doing. So what he was saying right here is, Many stocks are going down, down 70, 80, 90 percent. Of course, that's going to happen. I just don't know when. He's talking about the stock market. I don't care about the stock market. <clears throat> I care about the crypto market. And even the crypto market goes down 90 or whatever percentage, that's not scaring me. I'm accumulating. And I want you guys to accumulate as well. So while the whole world, while basically the United States is trying to blind you from everything that's going on, China will become the next world leader in blockchain. It will be the next world leader in blockchain. While United States is just, uh, I, I don't even know what United States is doing. They're just playing with their hands or something. I don't even know, family. But China, even though we have things going on with Ukraine and everything else, China does not care. China wants to become the world leader of blockchain. 
So this just explains to you guys, blockchain is here to stay. Dogen on Mars is here to stay. XRP is here to stay. XLM is here to stay. Don't let anything fool you. We are hodlers. We are all going to be elites. We are the few. We are the 1% that is investing into digital assets while the whole world is chasing off of the Powerball and Mega Millions and spending money on foolishness that's not going to bring them no income. Now, VeChain have things rocking right now. UFC partner VeChain aims to change the world. And if you guys don't know about VeChain, VeChain is another good digital asset that you guys need to go ahead and grab onto as well. And if you guys have it, you can get that off of Crypto.com, Coinbase, or on Uphold. But I'm still accumulating <clears throat> mainly a lot of these assets. A lot of people don't know about VeChain. It's connected to Walmart. And China is also rocking with VeChain. Just because we have a situation going on with China and Russia and all that, that does not has nothing to do with my pockets. That has nothing to do about my investing strategy. I'm investing to have generational wealth. Not to go by feelings. You can't go by feelings because if you go by feelings, you won't have nothing. Okay? Zhang and Lu focus on public blockchains, which is essentially a form of blockchain that is transparent, open, and visible to many parties. In 2017, they launched a public version of VeChain on the Ethereum blockchain using the token ticker VEN family. V Th VeChain Thor. That's a token that was it's super cheap. And if you guys are not even buying, li listen, if you are buying digital assets now and that the prices that you're buying at and it goes down lower, that should not give you no fear. That should not pull you away from digital assets or crypto. It shouldn't make you feel like, oh man, I just put 20 grand in this uh, assets at the low and it went down lower. Now I got a thousand dollars in my account. Man, I shouldn't even listen to this person. Why? Why do you feel like that? You think just because you put your money in something, it's just going to make you that like make you money how you want it to make you? No, it's not going to do that like that. It's going to have a process. Long term is always better than short term, family. Remember that. It's not like it's a money machine. It has to generate. It has to do what it has to do behind the scenes. OK, everything is getting in line right now. Everything is just a bombshell to everybody right now who just. Say, man, you know what? Once it goes back up to fifteen thousand, I can't, I, I can't hold it until I, 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 I retrieve what I put in. I'm just gonna pull in uh, a percentage out, and that's it. I'm done with crypto. You are not a real investor. You are not a real investor if you're going that way. When you put money in these assets, you leave that thing alone. Stop playing with it. Don't take no money out of them. Leave it in there. I don't understand why these people just want to so money hungry. You're being so money hungry. Leave that money in there. That's why you're broke and you don't want to be broke. You want to have generational wealth. And this is why I am preaching to everybody day by day of understanding generational wealth, financial freedom. You cry about having financial freedom, but don't know how to. Take the steps of having it. You have to train your mind, train your thoughts. Remember that, family. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And I'll see you again in the next video.